speak. Um, I'm having a great morning. It's nice and sunny. I'm getting my daylight morning sun. And remember, don't forget, getting the morning sun helps circadian rhythms in the morning, helps you keep awake, helps you, you know, it tells there are two things that tell your body that it's daytime. It's food and it's circadian rhythm. So you need to be making sure, sorry, circadian rhythm, which means sun. So you have to be getting sun on your skin in the morning to signal that it's daytime. Another thing is the food. So when you start eating, your body runs off two different clocks. You've got an external clock and an internal clock. Your internal clock is run off by the liver. So when you start to eat and food has to be processed by the liver, that's when it signals, oh, it's daytime. So that's why when a lot of people, they eat at night and they binge it, you can get a lot of problems from that. Another thing that you wanna focus on is making sure that you're getting the sunlight, like I said. So just walking out here, getting the morning sun as I'm walking home. Um, and another thing I wanna share is that, you know what pisses me off? People who waste time. I book in clients and I, you know, there are people who want to say they are committed to training and you book them in, and you know what happens? They don't show up. Or they just say, I'm gonna be 20 minutes late, is that okay? Like, no. They just think that I just stand around at the gym all day and do nothing. There are still other things I wanna be doing in my business, and I wanna be helping these people out. But when they don't value my time, it really, really upsets me. And so I just thought I wanted to share with you, like, if you are someone who, it doesn't matter what you're gonna do, whether you're gonna get to see um, some type of person who's in the service, you can't just cancel on them five or 10 minutes before a session or anything like that, because people, we have to make an income at the end of the day. I have to pay the gym rent. I have to pay rent for my house. I have to pay for food. And I cannot do that just by you know not having an income. This is where people come in. And this is for a lot of jobs too. So I want people to think about that. I want you guys to think about who do you not value your time for? That's kind of my little bit of morning rant. So I don't forget about the sun and eating. And um, don't waste people's time. Speak to you soon. Morning guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm on the way home from work this morning since I've had a cancellation, so I'm going back and forth. Gonna get home, do some emails to bang out while I've got some free time. Waiting for the truck to go past. Uh, I just wanna give you guys a quick update. So yesterday I was feeling a little bit tired, and what I actually did is I had a freezing cold shower in the morning, and then I checked my heart rate variability, and it told me that I shouldn't be training, but I actually realized it's because I had a cold shower beforehand, and that's why it threw me off, because that, like having something like that, that's gonna boost your heart rate, obviously. And so I was like, oh. But I had a cold shower, it was a really good workout I ended up having. Uh, I didn't really keep you guys updated for the rest of the day because I was just keeping busy with work. And I actually got a lot done yesterday. I was falling behind my podcast and I was falling behind with my YouTube videos, but I cranked them all out and got them done. Now, I also uh, created a couple more video coffee supplement videos, which is gonna be coming out for you guys too, so you can see them. And it talks all about my new product and how it's gonna help you guys you know, stay more focused and just be great. At the moment, I'm actually struggling with this uh, fasting period because I'm really hungry. I've been waking up more hungrier lately than usual, but it's because I've been reducing my calories since I'm gonna be going out tonight to eat again. And a lot of people are like, Tyson, you do eat a fair bit of crappy food. And I said, yeah, absolutely right. Every 20% of the time, I will eat bad food. So you can actually see, um, like let's say out of, out of seven days, right? 20% of the time, which is one meal a week, I will go and enjoy myself and have some bad food. And you can do it because life is meant to be lived, life is meant to be enjoyed, and you should go and try different things. But I don't do it all the time. Like you guys can see in my other videos, I eat the exact same breakfast, lunch, and dinner pretty much Monday to Sunday, and then like one meal of the week, it'll just be whatever it goes. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. Go out, enjoy yourself. Make sure you follow the 80-20 principle. That way you're gonna get the results you want because if you're doing the opposite approach like most people do and they go out and eat five, six times a week, that's what's gonna fuck you up for the long run. Speak to you guys soon. Oh yeah, this is what dinner looks like. Yeah, buddy. Yummy, yummy. Far out, that is so good. Oh yeah. What is up guys, pretty dark in here at the moment. Just wanna give you a quick update. So I did manage to get everything I wanted done, which is awesome. And then I went out for my friend uh, Udai and we went to the Greek, as you guys can see from the uh, video of what we got. So it was really good, lots of meat, but there was also like a good salad on the side too. However, ended up having some chips like usual and actually I haven't had chips in ages. So they weren't as good as I thought, but you know, I had them and I also had a lot of bread too. Now, the thing I like about time restricted eating is that it's good because it sets you at a certain amount of time to stop right and so what I realize is like when I don't have a time to stop it allows me to keep picking at things at night so I actually went home 
ended up picking up some more food towards the end when I was like, you know what, nah, this is my cutoff time. So that's the one thing I really like about this time-restricted eating, how now that I'm stopping at about 5 o'clock. Um, that's the update, so I got it all done, went and had a big feed, over ate a little bit, but it was good because I've been um, reducing my calories by 300 calories every day, so it's not going to put me in detriment. Hope you guys are having a great Friday night. Please make sure to like the video, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.